Hello guys, welcome back to LineUp. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to add more than three variants on Shopify. So, you might be wondering how to exactly add more than three variants here on Shopify. So, just to give you some idea here, when we go to products and adjust our products here, so for example, I want to edit uh, my product here for my just sample product one. And as you can see, uh, when you scroll down a bit here, I already have uh, some variants available right now. So I have a product option for color. Let's just say we want to add an option. Let's just say for um, this case, let's go and change it. So by the way, let's go and change a few things here so that we have uh, it properly set up. So let's go add the option. So for example, this is going to be uh, the, let's just say cloth, or you could go ahead and uh, choose whatever you want here. So let's just say we want to add a one that is for shine. It's going to show it like shine. And let's go ahead and just uh, choose like matte. And let's go ahead and choose uh, shiny. Uh, glossy, I mean. And let's go ahead and click on done. Now if you add another one. Uh, by the way, let's go ahead and change it. Matte and glossy. Click on save. It should now be separated add another variant here by the way before you add a third one that you need to save your changes by the way once you add it up it's going to click on add variant again and in this case it might actually limit uh the amount of uh, this case uh this case the variants that you can have on your product now this actually depends on the category sometimes it may limit it to um an another like a different one so let's go add another option here so let's go ahead and maybe uh, this is for the uh, display resolution. Again, this is just a sample. Uh, for let's just say it is going to be 1080p. And let's go ahead and add another one. It's going to be uh, 4K. 4K Ultra HD. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and click on Done and click on Save. Now, whenever you try adding uh, more variants here, so if you try adding one, as you can see, it's no, it no longer gives us the option to add those variants. Because again, with the current or default way how Shopify is currently set up, the max that Shopify can handle is going to be three variants. Now, if you want to uh, replicate that specific way of adding multiple variants here, uh, you need to install an app. So in this case, you want to go to your settings at the bottom left here and want to go to apps and sales channel. Want to go and click on Shopify app store at the top right should open up a new window which in this case you want to go ahead and just go to search apps and guides and more just type in product uh let's just say product options it's going to give you uh the different apps that you could use for this one again there are going to be different apps that you could use on your store you have infinite product options you have product uh global product options uh variant product options here again there are going to be a lot so you want you want to go ahead and just research which one is going to be, uh, to be the best for you so there are going to be a lot so there you won't have any uh problems with this one but yeah so as an example maybe i want to use the global product options variant here let's go and click on it and from here let's go and click on install and by the way the great thing about this app here is you, you could use this for free and you could basically add like 10 option sets 12 option types Unlimited product options, unlimited products. But if you want to get more out of pro, uh, the actual store uh, app itself, you may want to get the premium and pro here, which supports the following um, features that you can access. But yeah, let's go and click on install. And it's going to open up a new window, which in this case, you just need to go ahead and just agree to the installation. Just click on the install button that you are going to see in here. And once it's actually installed, you should be able to start managing or start updating the actual app. Now, first is you want to set this up first. So in this case, you could go ahead and basically click on continue as free at the bottom right here. If you want to continue for it, uh, continue free first, click on continue as free, but you can try the premium plan here if you want. But then again, then again we want to go and uh, make this um, a lot simpler. Now, there are three steps that you need to uh, set this up. So first is you want to create your option sets. Now, in this case, you want to go and click on create option set. And from here, it's going to open up global product options. And from here, we want to go ahead and just start setting this up. So you can go and go to products here and you can go ahead and manually select products that you want to add here. So for example, let's go and click on select product here and we have product ones like this one. Go ahead and click on select. It's going to add product. 
Now from here, you can select other products as well here if you want to add like variants on it. So you, it actually allows you to bulk edit them. You go to elements here. You can go and start adding elements like the text, text area, select drop down here, heading. So you can go ahead and specify that or you can go and click on select template here uh, if you have already one set up here. So yeah, so you want to go and search templates here if you already have that set up. So you also have the customers here, which in this case, uh, you can choose manual customers to choose uh, from your, uh, in this case, this page here, elements. Now, the great thing about this one is that you can really customize how your uh, picker here is going to look like. Let's go and click on add element. So for example, we have the option to basically ask someone if they want to have something included. So if you, uh, if you add like a checkbox here, for example, include uh, let's just say it's going to be include sim card so this is just customization that customers uh, can actually do on the product itself and you have the name for it so in this case uh, let's go and choose uh, sim card checkbox here you can add multiple ones if you have another if you want to add another uh, vol uh, option for it so for example you have option one sim card one and you're going to have sim card two you also have the L help text here if you want, if you want to add that. So you could go ahead and do all these things if you want. But let's go and click on save at the top right here. It's going to now be safe. So yeah, so you can obviously you can add other elements as well. So if you want to re customize it, you have color swatch here, image swatch, radio button, checkbox, drop down here. So you can really customize how people could actually add further customization in it, on it. So yeah, let's go and close this one. And once you've done that, uh, we now need to go ahead and go back to global product options at the left side here. Now, since we already created our product, uh, uh, create our options set here, we want to go and cl uh, click on the integrate team option now. Now, from here, it's going to uh, see or give you the app embed here. Let's go ahead and currently act deactivated. Let's go and click on go to team editor. And in here, you want to go ahead and make sure that the actual team app, or the app itself is turned on. So it's going to be tur automatically turned on here. You just need to click on save at the top right. Once you've done that, let's go and go back. It's now activated. Let's go back into global product options. And you want to go and click on customize the widget. So you could go ahead and customize the look of the widget, match your team colors and whatever. Let's go and click on customize now. I can change a few things. Uh, so yeah, so in this case, it's just up to you how it's going to look like. We have design as well, like colors and add on price here if you want to go and add those. But yeah, let's go and see how it actually looks like. But yeah, so let's go to products here and you want to go and click on product one here, which we just uh, recently edited. Let's go and click on preview on online store. Should open up a new window. In this case, it's going to load up include SIM card. As you can see right now, we have first option one and option two for that. So in this case, if you want to uh, really customize that and they could uh, basically customers can just add click the click on the option here that says add to cart in order for him to start using it. Or basically specify that, that they want that specific option or variant. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Lineup. Thank you for watching.